So I've been doing ballistas a lot with this. What if I just didn't? What if I speed this up so we're not here and then speed this up? Okay. Fire tower. Tempting. Tempting. Let's grab it. Uh, let's see. Do we just put it here? Hope for the best. It's a terrible spot for one, but you know what? It's the best I've got, at least for the moment. And let's just buff it up to like level six. There we go. Now we can just toast them. See if I can find a more advantageous spot. No, but I'm going to need some mana. None of these increase its mana. That's a problem. Because uh, most of these are going to be kind of expensive. Uh, let's just do kill it with fire. Oh, that's, that's a better spot. There we go. Okay, siphon mana from crystals. Hell yeah. Let's just do that. And let's grab a couple of mana siphons. One there. On the plus side, I have this area. Which means I get a lot of mana siphons. I don't like mana siphons that much. I still find them to be pretty boring. However, if I'm not going ballistas, it's less of a problem. There we go. Because, yeah, these two flamethrowers should be able to cook everything that goes by. Do I want to grab the mana banks? Yeah. Yes. I want to go for the frost keeps, but we've got to we've got to secure our mana superiority. Otherwise, I'm going to get cooked. Uh, let's see. Can't do anything more. Ooh, this is a good spot. When we get there. I'm a little worried about Oogie. That is the one persistent fear. I like this one, it just goes poof constantly. Uh, let's grab some sorcery. And how are we doing financially? Poorly. That's something to kind of keep in mind. But on the plus side, it pretty much just cooks all of them, and then we can just have that guy just go Hleh! constantly. Extra burn? I and mean, the extra burn is nice. But I'm not really reliant on burn damage. Oh, but I could be. Fire and flames, burning enemies take an extra... I think we might want to grab fire and flames or sorcery. Let's go sorcery. Because mana is going to be a problem for me. Wow, what are the cheapest towers? Because the one problem is I'm not getting my housing bonus here. I mean, I guess I could get a couple of encampments. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Uh, I could. Otherwise, we could actually get poison sprayers. Let's get poison sprayers. Because we've got some really good spots for poison sprayers. Specifically right here. I think. It seems like an odd spot, I know. Oh. Okay. No, this this will be fine. There we go. And yeah, my mana my mana is perfect. So I don't think I need to have much to worry about. Uh, let's see. Go lifesteal. Lifesteal is great. Poison spray is too extra. Now let's keep just securing my mana. Because as I upgrade these, it's going to get just dicier and dicier. I'm out of money. It's fine. We should probably unlock a couple more tower types. Uh, I'm thinking encampments and uh, saw blades. Saw blades is first and foremost. Because this is a really good spot for a couple of saw blades. It's a very long straightaway. And it can rip through a, a number of the weaker dudes. If it shows up. If it doesn't show up, then so be it. Uh, let's see. Slow but sure for the extra or pyrochemistry. No, we want to keep grabbing these. Okay. This is another really good spot. Uh, I might put it here just for the extra, slight extra money. M maybe. I was hoping to get more banditry too, but it's not showing up. Uh, let's keep grabbing lifesteal. And I'm going to get a poison sprayer here, tacky as it is. Mainly because we just need the money. Uh, let's expand that, see what happens. Well, it's certainly interesting.
Let's see. Would also be kind of a decent map for a couple other things. Uh, let's see. Just boost this one's damage a bit. Okay, that does get expensive. But we have enough AoE that we can pretty much just cook everything down. Banditry level 2. Okay. Expand that. Did I remember to unlock radar? I think I did. Because I, I feel like some radar could be really interesting around here too. Let's see. I'm going to get this thing's shield damage up by a little bit. I don't want to spend too much money on this yet, just because this is a very expensive series of towers to play around with, but I think we're okay. Alright, let's keep expanding this until this turns. If I can get this to terminate, I will be a happy camper, because that gives me some interesting options. Let's have this guy do some bonus damage to just enemies that don't have armor. It actually cooks a decent amount of armor off. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, the main problem is surrounding houses is very expensive. Might pay for itself, but considering how little money I have, it's not a good idea at the moment. Let's get lifesteal level 3. Okay, there's Oogie. Let's pause for a second. Get another fire thrower. Have you on progress? Okay. That's all the money I got. Okay. I'm just invest in this this thing's ability to do health damage. Because Oogie is a problem. Not easily rectified. Because if he reaches the end, I die. Yep. Damn. Yeah, the sprayers are good, but I think I gotta do one sprayer and then something else. Because, unfortunately, uh, I didn't really need both. And I probably don't need both. I'll, I'll have to think about it. Getting something like radar... Radar is probably the way to do it. Because I don't think most other things are just going to do enough damage. Uh, let's grab the flamethrower. There's the shredder, but the shredder is not as good. Why did I do that to myself? Hurts a bit. Okay. That's at least a little bit. And there's Radar, which is very expensive, but probably worth it. I want Banditry, but I'm going to need this. Okay, so you're going to be most health, most armor. And you just exist. And let's get another one of these. Okay, there we go. That should at least be a little bit better. I could go for the extra range, but I don't think I want it. It's at least a little bit of something. And yeah, I can this way build around having these guys take out most of the chaff. And the plane will take out the, the biggins. Unfortunately, they still don't fire that much. They spend a lot of time not firing at things. Which will remain probably one of my biggest grumps. Do I get the mana bank? Yes. It's expensive. But it does scale a fair bit better than the mana siphons. Also, this thing is currently just good enough that I don't need to worry about it. Savings account. Uh, flamethrowers do extra damage to shields. Or a shredder tower. I mean, shredder is tempting just for the extra money. But paying for it is tough. Savings account makes the mana bank a little bit better. I need some more points into bandis banditry just because. Oh, 
All on the plus side, the flamethrower does do enough to just kind of cook through most of these guys. There we go. Yeah, it's working. Flamethrowers gain extra burn. Yeah. I will admit I'm just kind of flailing. This is uncharted territory for me as I have no idea what I'm doing without my ballistas. But I think we're okay. I, I might want to grab saw blades if it goes by. It did not. I think encampments are probably not a great idea. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have this do hollow point. Let's grab another flamethrower. Have it on progress. This is a very good spot to have it up high. Just to do some extra damage, take out some shields, cook some enemies. I mean, we've actually got some really primo spots to just put flamethrowers all over the place. Okay. Crit deal an extra 10%. I mean, it's tempting. We don't actually do a whole lot, though. Uh, let's grab the shredder. Watch us actually get the unwinnable... No. I mean, if we're lucky, what it does is it loops in. And then we're golden. Also, shredders are not actually that expensive. That is a good thing to know. Yeah, let's get a shredder up here. Just put it there for the time being. And sorcery. Okay. Now the mana banks are better. Damn. I mean, it could still turn and go back in here, at which point we maybe lose? I might be able to pull it off, but gosh, it's going to be a tough tough one. Okay, and I'm just... I'm, I'm potentially going to protect houses with saw blades. Because we don't need to care about the range, and while the bonus damage is good, it's not so amazing that I need it. Uh, let's see. Let's go fire. Oh. Uh, it's a little late now. That would have been a good spot. Another, a number of these are kind of decent spots. I might just have to kind of suffer without money. Is the one other thing to just kind of consider here. Uh, let's see what this does. There we go. But luckily, now we've got a lot of bleed and we got a lot of fire. Our anti-shield potential is going to be pretty bad, though. Which means I'll probably want to... Hey, there's banditry level 2. I want to get a frost tower. I think that's, that's the real solution here. Was that just Oogie? Did Oogie just get toasted? I think he did. Okay. Sure thing. Uh, let's see. Flamethrowers gain even more burn. Everything burns. I'm going to put this here. Because once I get a couple of range upgrades, it might actually cover this entire dang place. We'll see. Please turn. It might not. Let's see. More shredders. Just do your thing, buddies. Here. I'm gonna make this thing really bad against shields. Or really bad. Really deadly against shields. We might just get through these guys at least with just raw damage. Okay, biplanes do extra damage to a lot of things. And the other option is I could even start mixing in particle cannons. Um. Or do we get the poison sprayers? Let's grab the poison sprayers. That's the, that's the easiest option here. Because the Poison Sprayer baseline is just going to shred shred shields in a way 
it works really well for me. And then everything else can just cook the rest off. We'll just kind of layer this business. Uh, let's get another here. And then I should probably start investing into other bits. What is the range on this radar? Still pretty good. I don't think I want to give it the extra range. Uh, let's see. Do that, just see what happens. Nothing terribly exciting. I'll just put it here. There we go. I haven't been able to play with almost any of these toys for the longest time. It's kind of nice. However, we do really need to start uh, scaling up my mana generation. Otherwise, I'm going to run out and then I'm going to lose. Uh, let's see. Barriers do extra damage to armor. Flamethrowers do extra damage to armor. Go with that. And yeah, I have like no house income. I can't do too much with that. But I can keep scaling it up. Or I just lose right now. We'll see. Because, yeah, I haven't seen anything like uh, Lifesteal go by. I'll just make this Mana Bank Hill. I'll tell you what. No, I can't. I can't Hank Hill. No matter how much I'd love to be able to do a cromulent Hank Hill impression, it's just not... Just not something I'm functionally capable of, which is a darn, darn tragedy. Travesty, even, you might say. Oh, well. I don't actually care that much. This is just a fun fun voice to mimic. There we go. I'm very glad I picked up the mana banks before I engaged upon this, because otherwise I'd be having problems. Though, I will say, this is kind of weirdly effective. It's a build I've been kind of wanting to pull off for quite some time, but I've just never done so because... Reasons. Uh, banditry? Yeah. Oh, yes. This could work. One of the big benefits to a build like this. Let's just get another one of these here. Just kind of have it shooting at whatever. Uh, the more towers I just kind of have in an area, and the more an enemy is hit by them, uh, the more money it gives when it dies. So even if I'm not benefiting much from the houses, I'm still benefiting from a lot of other things. Let's see. Do we go for Eviscerate? Maybe? Yes. Because a lot of these enemies are going to be bleeding. Just by default. Okay. And you know what? This is, like, specifically not worth it. But I'm just going to get another... I'm just going to get a plane down. Just have them kind of shoot things. I'll have to see if we can get some universities here, because we've spread out a lot, and universities are probably going to help tremendously, just in terms of I'm not going to be getting going down a whole lot of tower upgrade paths. And so it seems a lot better to, uh... Yeah, diversify. Do I want to do quality over quantity? Yes. Reason being, almost every one of my towers is going to be reasonably high level. Not amazingly high level, but an extra 10, 10 to 12 crit chance goes a long way here. Especially if we get like Expunge or a Sanguinate, or all of them, because if we can get those, that opens us up pretty dramatically. I should see what unlocks. Because I might also want to just invest hard into the Frost Towers while we're here. Alternatively, we'd just get Creeping Cough. Sure. Probably actually one of my better options for a moment. This is so jank. But we're doing it. Okay, you're going to be most health. We have least shield and armor. You're going to be most armor, most health, least shield. Just to kind of punch a number of 
nasties as they go by. Okay. And then... I'm just gonna get a flamethrower here. Do I want to put it there? I guess I don't really have too much of a choice. Uh, even more fire? Even more fire. Or, no, no, no. We want to go for that. We already do enough fire. Okay. Just have them work on progress. It's a weird build. And there's probably more I can do with this, but... I'm satisfied for the moment. Let's see. I think I might have enough saw blades for the moment. Oh, there's Zombie Oogie. Was Zombie Oogie. Please give me universities. Nope. I'll grab lifesteal. It's fine. Gosh, I was hoping for more than that. I think I might still be generally fine. And our mana is doing great. Our drain is not as high as I thought it would be. That's okay. Uh, savings account... Level three, just for some more maximum mana. Yeah, that goes that goes a long way. Please turn. Thank you. Okay, how are we doing this? More radar. You are going to be probably most shield, most health, or most armor. There we go. Oops. Why did I do that? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have them specifically assassinate all the big dudes. And I'm just going to rely on big AoE fires to just wreck the rest. Frost keeps do bleed. That's not what I was expecting to be an option, but you know what? I'll take it. I'm just going to keep extending that. There's not a whole lot of reason for me to do anything. And I'm going to hold on to a bit of a war chest here. I, I think my best option is actually just to level these up. Let's see. I'm just going to have these do health damage. Their entire goal is to do nothing more than just destroy. Well, that's that's the frost. There we go. Okay. Trail of blood, fumes, and ballistas. I really wish I could turn off ballistas for this. Let's see. Well, I have no more, more money. It is fine. I, I still kind of want to hold on to a bit of a war chest, if I can. Oh, I don't actually see any universities. Boy, if we're lucky and no universities show up, I will be a happy camper. Let's see. Let's get another shredder up here. Your entire goal is just health. And just tons of bleed. My goal is just to knock them down based on specializing each tower into its functional specialty and then just hope I have enough money that I can get what I want. Uh, bleed them dry or another level sorcery. My man is good. So let's actually go for bleed them dry. Uh, I don't even want to sanguinate that much. I really got to keep an eye out for universities. I... I do not know what my options were given there, but it's fine. I'm not sure if the Frost Towers were really that good, unfortunately. However, it does mean that I could probably put a Frost Keep up here. Just for some extra coverage. Let's grab like a Mana Bank or two. Because at some point this is going to have issues and I don't want to be, I don't want to be dealing with it. Okay, more bleed damage, make them suffer. We're applying a ton of status effects, so I might as well... I might as well kind of just go for it. Just let them cook down faster. Okay. Those are the armored dudes, but that's fine. One immediate problem is that this back area is, is a little undefended. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Damage to health, radars gain range, vial consumption. I don't know. This is going to be doing whatever. I should maybe consider getting some more sprayers. Especially in these really good spots for spraying. Let's just do right here. Because it's far better for me to just kind of let these things get, yeah, get crippled a little bit on the way in. Instead of just relying on these, I'll just, I'll just keep spreading it around. And letting my biplanes finish off the, the toughy stragglers. Uh, let's see. Do I want to grab Frostbite? The other interesting one would be to grab an obelisk and have it focus on last hitting. Yeah, you know what? More towers than anybody has any sensible use for. Uh, let's see. I might just want to have it focused on progress. We'll get a couple. Uh, let's see. So if I put it here, I can have it focus on near death. There we go. I have no idea how Wave 40 is going to work with this. I'm not even sure if we're going get to get those universities. There's a little bit of a downer, but that's eh, fine. But yeah, I'm just going to have this thing for near death. Let's do least armor and least shields. Because I want it to effectively cook everything that has an HP bar. Okay. One dicey business is obelisks are thirsty. So my my mana consumption has just gone through the roof. Which is fine. Uh, do I go for encampments like a crazy man? No. Let's not. Let's just get some more banks down. Because I can pretty much afford all of this stuff. How's this doing? Pretty well. Yeah, because all of these guys that come through usually get messed up pretty bad. I mean, it looks like it's working. Uh, gosh, what else do I do? I don't know. Let's have this one here, focused on progress. There's universities. Little too little, little too late. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Because baseline, even just a couple of upgrades makes them worth it. And we're just gonna have so many shield and enemies, we wanna we wanna have that bonus. Oops, too much. Even if we only have 11 more waves. We have a lot of university spots to utilize. Uh, I should probably have picked them earlier. But I don't know if I was really given the opportunity. I think, I think I'd think i definitely seen them. I need to be better about that. Just pick it early. Okay. And scholarships. I'd like to get make them suffer. But I'm not terribly reliant on it. Okay, and I'm just going to keep extending this one. Okay, 10%, 10%, 10%. And we've still got one more. That I can at least invest towards. Which I think is actually the... Maximum I'm going to be able to get university-wise. They stop showing up after a certain, certain point. Which is... Frankly, not a big deal. Yeah, this is working. It's an odd build that is more smorgasbord than anything good. 
But, like, credit where credit is due, uh, not a lot of things are surviving. Okay. Lifesteal would be nice. No, let's go for Ignite. I'd love the research breakthrough. But, uh, let's see, make them suffer or sorcery too. Yeah, that, that doubles my regen. That's worth it. Well, like I said, it's a very strange run. I might want to just mix in some flamethrowers just, just because. Uh, if you're wondering why specifically, uh, I don't even want these to do a ton of damage. I just want them to exist to uh, give me that damage damage bonus. Because every enemy that dies... having been hit by one, gets me a little bit of extra money. Uh, let's see, what else do we do? Honestly, maybe a radar up here. Let's just do more health. Life steal. No, let's grab expunge. We don't do a whole lot of crit here. We do an amount, though. Okay, most health, most armor, most shield. You exist mainly just to punch everything. Okay, do I have enough money for another? Yeah. You are going to be... Slowest enemy with the most amount of health. And you just attack... Things. Cool. And keep going. Hey, that gets me another university spot. I should maybe consider that for the other side. Well, at least we get the shield damage bonus that I was kind of hoping to get. Man, what even? What a weird... What a weird day. What a weird run. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get a couple of these just in places. Nah, not that one. Look, I gotta get my money somehow. And I will get it by Jove. Alright. Let's see. More poison damage. Or another make them suffer. It still doesn't feel like it's that much damage. But you never know. Main thing is we're going to be running into the Beholders very shortly. And I have no idea how they're even going to react to most of this. Whatever, I, whatever even happens... Frankly, I, I'm i realizing that while I mastered the Ballista, there are just such a massive... There, there's just such a massive variety of, like, builds that I have been locked off from. And almost kind of disinterested in... Here, do we... <laughs> Here, I'm just going to get a really cheap obelisk that's... Goal is entirely just to shoot progress. In the face. Here, let's get another one. Once again, not a lot of damage. Its entire goal is to just shoot whatever's in front. Just it it's just there to touch them. <laughs> oh man, what the heck? Get some more shredders around too. They're just there to make me cash. Is there a... No, there's no way to show it. Which is a little bit of a downer. We don't need to care about missiles too much. Now that I'm thinking about this. Yeah, I'm just going to make that one really high level. Uh, let's see. And... I'd like to grab... A sanguinate. Yeah, let's grab a sanguinate. I want those research breakthroughs, but they're slightly more common. Uh, let's just keep extending this. Whatever. Who's gonna stop me? Not these enemies. Just 
Just, just look at him go. Yeah, you really don't need ballistas. Though it'll be nice to have them after this run, just so I can have a, a little bit of coverage. The one problem is, once again, I don't find the upgrade system in this game particularly compelling. Namely by the fact that you don't really need it, it's there, and some of them are really, really good. Like the plus 15% crit chance, but so many of them are just kind of numerical, and none of them change how towers function. Uh, beyond, you know, maybe a sanguinate and stuff. You know, that there's a couple of builds that you can go for, and otherwise it's just figuring out how to leverage what you have. It's more tower defense than roguelike, and I, I really am craving that roguelike aspect to this. Namely, I really wish each tower had its own, like, little roguelike upgrade tree or something like that. Just stuff. And the the absence of it is is sometimes a bit of a downer. Let's get another one of these. You're just going to be... Oops. Sponge. That. More sponge. Sure. You're just going to be shooting for whatever has the most amount of shield. There we go. I don't know if the universities actually came in clutch here. Sometimes they're they're primo. Many times they're not. Oh wow. I didn't even notice we were past wave 40. And so much of it just has to do with the fact that, like, these... I, sprayers went from being kind of like, I don't really know if I like these things, to probably the best towers in the game. Everything else is kind of nice, just just to be there. But these guys are nuts. They attack quick. They're a full AoE. They're a decent, decent on a cone. And if you have them on, like, a long straightaway and you tell them specifically, like, just shoot for progress, they just end up toasting every enemy in the back for just gobs of damage. It's upsettingly strong. I kind of love it. The saw blades are also really, really good. Uh, I haven't really commented on them too much, but, like, you leverage saw blades well. They will... You don't need to worry about going for, uh, uh, near, like, near-death enemies, because it just doesn't matter. It just deletes all comers. Uh, well. What do we do? Just get some saw blades around? I'm not even gonna think too hard about what I'm doing. There we go. More saw blades. If I can't hear saw blades constantly, then I'm doing it wrong. I think they only go up by 100 every time I get them anyway. So, uh, more the merrier. Yep. 100 every time. I might as well get some more mana banks because pricey. Look at my tower, just woefully undefended. <laughs> and yet, it's not a problem. Just the worst. I, I don't know. It's freeing. I was originally very tepid on everything after that one up, uh, update. The idea of just like, can I, you know, is this beatable now? The answer is, oh yeah, it's very beatable. I just need to actually do it right. Pop this here. I think that can hit. These, gu these guys just exist to make me money. Which is just the silliest thing. Okay, at this point, I just don't think I need to do anything. I think I can just let it go and do whatever. We've got more mana than we have sense. Most of these enemies are going to get cooked before they ever even make it anywhere. I think one of the greatest weaknesses with almost all of my builds up until now has just been a sheer lack of AoE. That, you know, all of the enemies that are just coming through are just so numerous that no amount of firepower can punch through them, I guess. Whereas in this situation, I've just got layers and layers and layers of defenses in such a way that, like, kind of completely destroys most foes. I was really hoping to get some more upgrades on this. I think I might want to give the, uh, the Frost Tower combo a shot again. See if I can go for a Ballista Frost Tower uh, super slow build, because I feel like that would actually work out really, really well. House protection. 
actually was still worth it. I was curious about this, whether or not uh, investing in the houses would be good. But in that case, I, 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 I think it worked. Because I've only got two houses protected, and it's made about 5,000, which is paid for, I think, maybe half of the towers surrounding the houses. A decent discount. I'm sure maybe to some degree would have been better to put them up high or in other places, but I think it's fine. I don't think we have any anything else to worry about. Let's just kind of wait for them to go. We're almost done. Then we just... Then we're just free. Because I think after this, this is, like, this is the last of the challenge, uh... I think this is the last of the challenge runs. I, I'm trying to rack my brain to see if there's any others. I guess what I gotta do, do is start the next wave and immediately look. I realize I've got, like, tons of money, but what do I even spend it on? Uh, I don't know. Let's grab that. We get... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a pair of Tesla coils, and I'm going to make them gnarly. There we go. If there's a single foe that decides to come say hi to either of these guys, it'll be bad. Let's get another one here. Uh, let's see, anything that is near death in progress... I just boost that. And then maybe some more mana banks, just for propriety's sake. Oop, that's a university. I don't know. Damn it, I did it again. Mana bank. Okay. Yeah, it should work. Now we have nothing to worry about. That poor singular Tesla up there that's just kind of useless. But it's fine. It's not there to be good. It's just there to... be extra. Uh, let's see, what else do we do? No, we mostly just kind of wait and watch it happen. Easy run. Uh, I guess I was gonna check some achievements, because we're at 39 out of 48. The one problem is, the achievement that's named after me, I most likely will never get. Uh, cause this is gonna be no more Ballista. No Stone Unturned is the other one. That might actually be a little bit of a doozy. This one would have been close, but eh. But then, other than that, like, three achievements are for ma Tower Max Health to 40% or 40 plus, 50 plus, and then it's Maximum Slow, 90%, Maximum Haste to 0%, and then one hidden achievement that I don't actually know what that one is, but it's fine. No more Ballista. Perfect. All right. Well, in that case, we are free to play, and that's kind of nice. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Rogue Tower. And as always, thanks for watching.